Hello, my lovelies. Gemini's Libras. We're on Libras. Libras, this is going to be your June monthly reading. We start with Eclipse in Sagittarius. There is some sort of growth, some success after a setback. So they always show me an arrow being pulled backwards before it launches forward in a new direction of success. So whatever this setback is, know that it is an opportunity for you to start going in a new direction. So the setback is necessary to get you to the, the breakthrough for the new direction. So it's bringing in your growth. And Sun and Scorpio 8, passion. A passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to maybe meet somebody. It's also an opportunity for you to um, go towards things that you love, that you're passionate about, whether that's a hobby, a job, a person. I feel like this is all kind of energetically aligning for you to be where you really want to be. Service. So you might be in a position to help another person, acts of service. I feel good when I can help others and ushering in some balance. I feel like you've had a lot of things being really kind of out of whack for a while. Your energy has been kind of all over the place in the readings here lately as well. So bringing back that sense of balance. Libra, you're the scales, right? You're the scales of justice. You need that equal give and take. You need that harmony. You need that balance in order to feel at your best. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So don't judge yourself or others too harshly right now. You need to find it balance. What else do we need to know for Libra for the month of June? Ooh. All right. They all fell. We're taking them. This one as well. Well, you have a wish fulfillment coming, but you have to take a leap of faith in order to get there. A trust fall with the universe. I feel like your wish is to find peace and harmony. I also feel like you're sick and tired of the status quo. You're tired of losing sleep over this situation, and it's time to release this. No more crying over this. I feel like really a lot of anxiety, a lot of overwhelm here. Drowning in your emotions. Really needing to see the truth for what it is. And I also feel like needing to find the balance. The moon is about illusion. So maybe someone swindled you somehow. Maybe someone pulled the wool over your eyes. But this is needing to see the truth for what it is. And the change is needed. So the tower brings the change that's needed. It's not always pleasant. It can be quite disruptive. It can be catastrophic. But the change afterwards is what is needed. So finding the balance comes after a major change in your life. I feel like love could be coming in for you, but are you ready for that? I feel like this comes out of left field. You might not see it coming. This could be somebody that's financially stable as well coming in. Could be a new business venture for you. The King of Pentacles takes his sweet ass time. Flips around. He's kind of slow to take action, but he's calculated. He thinks about these things. He makes practical decisions. He's trustworthy. He's loyal. And he's got his head screwed on straight. So he makes a good partner, business or otherwise. There's been a lot of delays around this change. I feel like um, you didn't see things clearly, so it makes it hard to make changes. And it is time to decide what you want to do about the past, whether you let go or not. I feel like you're really reminiscing somewhere in life as well. But I feel like you need to let go. And that ushers in some change for the better. Some good luck being on your side. This could be in love, could be financial changes for the better. But the Wheel of Fortune brings in that string of good luck. You might be manifesting these changes as well, um, finding your confidence again and finding your strength and your courage in order to make these changes that are needed. I feel like the tower, if you don't embrace it, can be kind of painful, but if you do embrace it, I feel like it really ushers in dramatic, beautiful, changed energy. What else do we need to know? Queen of Wands again. So finding your confidence, maybe that's your wish fulfillment, that you find your passion, find your independence, and you go in a new direction towards your happiness. Um, could also be marriage and commitment coming for you. It's a fresh start and a new beginning. All right, Page of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you've dealt with a lot of bad news recently or somebody who's very childish and immature, lots of problems. And I feel like that's something you want to release. Yeah, because you want to welcome in your abundance. So seeing the truth for what it is, you could be coming into an inheritance, some sort of sudden wealth, generational wealth is typically how that's seen in Queen of Coins. You're going to be fine financially, but I feel like this change is something that has to happen to get you there. And this is divinely guided. This is divine intervention with temperance. Um, there could be a reconciliation should you want one. 
but I feel like you need something that's balanced. You need that harmony in your life. You need like a good influence instead of negativity. All right, the page of wands. So I feel like there could be some things that you start to discover about yourself. Um, maybe you have like an earth sign that's also helping you in some regard financially, but it's like this is a playful time for you to discover things. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Somebody who's very bitter or very judgmental, very pessimistic about the future. And I feel like that really needs to change. The Queen of Swords is known as the Ice Queen because she's very cutthroat. She's somebody who doesn't mince words. When she's done, she's done. It's air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But um, can be a little bit vindictive or a little bit um, pessimistic in nature. Very skeptical. So really make sure that that's not... Um, your constant mentality is what they're saying. The lover's in reverse. I feel like someone's choosing to walk away from the past. This person's been very unreliable, lots of conflict, needing to separate. Maybe your values don't align any longer or you're second guessing your choices. It's time to come to terms with what doesn't work so you can leave it behind. Yeah, severing ties, getting out of survival mode, releasing it and recovering. So I feel like this is inevitable that these things need to change. And I feel like there's been so many delays about this, but it's going to give you the freedom that you're looking for and a lot of happiness. So finding your strength and your courage is going to give you a reason to celebrate. Um, good news, finding um, happy things to celebrate. I feel like you have financial blessings coming in, potentially new romance coming in as well. Yeah, new romance. We have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So this is a new person, but I feel like you're exiting something as well. So let the past go, work on you in the meantime, and allow things to happen in divine timing. Make sure that you're focused on work ethic, not just rushing things. Some hard work's needed here. Again, with the eight of coins, with the three of coins in reverse, if you're not putting forth your best quality work, things aren't going to go well for you, that you need to actually be determined to put in that hard work. Um, maybe that's something you're known for if it's like um, your craftsmanship or your reputation. So make sure that it's a good one. You don't want things to look half-assed. I feel like that's going to be a problem. Get out of this doom and gloom mentality that things can get better, but you've got a lot of self-doubt and canceled plans. I feel like you've endured a lot, so you might be retreating to lick your wounds. Your walls are very high. You've got to learn to trust again slowly, but you do have a lot of happiness trying to come in, and it could be with somebody who is a much better match for you. So I feel like there's been a lot of delays around you getting to where you need to be. The delays are going to be necessary. Go towards your balance. Go towards your growth. Know that whatever setbacks you have in the month of June are actually setting you up to succeed in a more positive way that you have a wish fulfillment coming in, but you do have to be willing to take a leap of faith and there's lots of things that need to change. And once you decide to change those things, then you have some new blessings coming in. Have a great month.